sometimes you got to make modifications on the fly and this is one of those moments. I welded the nut onto here and I drilled the hole in here and the way this goes together, I've got to be able to take this out to get to my oxyacetylene bottles and a bunch of other things under there and just kind of move equipment around. And if I just want to work with this as a flat top, it needs to come out too. And with this nut on there, it won't fit through the hole the other way. <laughs> so I've got to figure out a way to uh, make this all work together. And on the scaffolding, there's these little push pins and there were holes in the pipe originally for that. So what I'm gonna do is drill a hole here and I'll have a push pin release up top and then this will weld to the actual plate that goes around. I think it'll work. <laughs> the Texas Viking if you have not checked out his YouTube channel he is an amazing TIG welder he's the one where I saw the potter's wheel for the first time and he was nice enough to take some video of it one day and share that with me so I could see how his was put together I also want to thank Ramsey's Customs for plasma cutting this top plate and the plate that your foot uses to spin this piece. I think he may be selling weld up kits at some point in time, so you might keep a close eye on his channels. I'll link both Terry's and Gary's channels below, and I'll also link Gary's website. I think it's ramseyscustoms.com. I can't tell you how excited I am to put this thing to use. This project was a pain in the neck welding the round tube to flat plate without a potter's wheel. <laughs> so I'm, I'm ready to put this thing to use. We will see you on the next one. Feel free to click or tap on the images to check out some of my past builds. If you like my videos, click on the Greg's Garage logo and all my future videos will show up in your YouTube feed.